I'm delighted to be a member of the Board of Trustees of the Council for Parliament of the World's Religions. I think because Martin King maybe said it best. He said, we're already geographically one. Now it's time for us to become spiritually one. When we heard him say that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere, he was revealing to us a cosmopolitan perspective. Everybody is affected by everybody's decision. All of life is interrelated, interdependent, and interpenetrating. And so it's very important for us to be concerned about what happens, not just to people under our own roof and our neighbors, but to people all over our little planet. We have inherited a large house, a very diverse house, and we've got to learn how to manage everything in this house together. In order to have global peace, we've got to start to think like global citizens. Nations have got to get beyond war as a method for conflict resolution between nation states. Gandhi showed us how. And so this means more dialogue. For us to have live in a world house, for King, a global village, for Gandhi, to be a global commonwealth of citizens, for Daisaku Ikeda, or an international solidarity of peace-loving nations, for Nelson Mandela. We have got to learn how to create instruments and treaties that get beyond agreements simply, that we can actualize between regions, hemispheres, and nations so that we can actually intervene when persons in other parts of the world are being mistreated. We cannot have another Holocaust like for the Germans, like in Rwanda. We can't sit by and let ISIS get away with what it's getting away with. So the parliament of the world's religions is about the highest level of spirituality, cooperation, which means not unity, but harmony not erasing the distinctiveness of all the different faith traditions, but learning how to respectfully appreciate the differences and to learn from them. Or as Gandhi once said, to be able to open your the windows of your house so that the breezes of the cultures of the world can blow through, but not let any of them blow you off your feet.